Welcome back to Breakfast Television. The Winnipeg Chinese and Cultural Community Center is celebrating something great this weekend. To tell us a little bit more about that, I'd like to introduce June and Yanissa. Thanks for being here today. All right, so you guys are both from the Community Center, and this is going to be a particularly big week, and it all has to do with the relationship between Winnipeg and a sister city in China. June, how did this all begin? So in 1988, a delegation of officials from Winnipeg went to Chengdu to start up the sister city relationship. And what happened was we started this sister city relationship and they donated two pandas for six months and uh, we donated two polar bears for six months to their zoo. All right, that sounds like a pretty good trade, bears for bears. Now, Yanissa, um, what's been happening since then to keep this relationship alive and going? Um, well, we've been exchanging a um, few words here and there, but we've also been inviting um, some delegates from China over to Winnipeg um, to just further like reinvigorate this relationship. But we also have a couple performances this weekend from the Chengdu Dance Troupe. And yeah, and hopefully that will get them things re-sparked. That's very cool. So these folks are visiting all the way from China. They've come to Winnipeg. They're getting to experience a nice Winnipeg winter. Yeah. Um, and we're actually going to get a little sample performance in just a little bit. But this isn't the only thing that's happening to sort of uh, celebrate this. We have the two. We have the performances happening on the weekend. There's also a really interesting sort of mm -hmm. photo exhibit that's set up, and it's going to be in a, a couple different locations mm -hmm. inside of the city. Is that right? Yeah. So this weekend we have uh, the two performances on Saturday. It's going to be from 7 to 9 p.m. at the Winnipeg Art Gallery. Okay. On Sunday it's going to be 2 to 4 p.m. at the same location. And we have tickets on sale on site. Very cool. So if you want to get information about those shows or um, buy your tickets, you can do that through the BT website at breakfasttelevision.ca. So a cool way to get ourselves immersed in the festivities. And we're also going to be giving away a pair of tickets a little bit later on. Um, now there's the, the photo exhibit as well. What's happening for that one? So for the photo exhibit from the 2nd sec to the 9th, it's going to be at the Cult Winnipeg Chinese Culture and Community Center. Mm -hmm. And uh, from the 10th to the 19th, it's going to be at the Winnipeg Millennium Library. And it's going to be great, so head on out there to look at those during those times. What kinds of things are we going to be learning and getting to see inside of this photo exhibit? Um, we're going to see the how we exchange the polar bears. So we're going to see a couple pictures of polar bears and the pandas. Um, we're going to see some of the uh, pictures from the cultural dances that originate from Chengdu province. Um, yes. All right, some really cool things. And now joining us all the way from Chengdu, a little sample performance of the things that you'll get to see this weekend. Yeah. 